It is the next morning. Got myself a cup of very hot fresh coffee going on here. And what I'm thinking of doing is, you remember yesterday I was mentioning that we had to make four more of these little boats. Well, <clears throat> I'm thinking possibly the smart thing to do is just go ahead and, and make them. Uh, okay, this, this hull is L30. And if we page ahead, now what number did I say we had to uh, make more boats? Uh, 49. Oh, here they're calling it L9. L9. That's a different hull. I wonder if I made a mistake here. Because this doesn't look anything like, you know, the, the stern is different. Um, I wonder if I nipped off the wrong ones here. I think I better just go ahead and make all the boats and then when it comes to gluing them down, which is right here, Okay, you can you can see here that uh, there are two with the stern that looks like this. They're sort of V-shaped, like that is, and one that is kind of rounded, the, the slightly shorter hull, which is this one over here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I better be careful when it comes to gluing these down that I, <clears throat> you know, excuse me, that I get the right ones in the right place. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just make the remaining four boats. I think there's only four left. Okay, after a few sips of coffee here, my brains woke up and I figured out what's wrong. This is an extra piece. And you'd think, well, why would they have an extra piece? Well, we only need three of this particular boat. However, there are four L sprues. And they're not going to make a, you know, an, an extra sprue just because one is different. It's, in other words, it's cheaper for them to just make an extra piece, because we do need four of this one. So it's it's starting to make sense here. Uh, we we do have it right. I didn't make a mistake. In other words, I made a mistake about the fact that I made a mistake. So I guess I can't say I never make mistakes. Anyway, the uh, this is the the seats and everything for this little boat here. And these are the, the seats and the deck or whatever for, for these two right here. These ones go with these ones here that have the V in the back. And this, this one here goes for this, this one over here. A much smaller, I guess you call it a motor launch or whatever. So we've got an extra one. I'm thinking I might just go ahead and, and do it anyway. And that way if I mess up on uh, one of these other three, well, maybe this fourth one will be better. So, uh, yeah, so uh, this top here, I'll nip it off and it'll go with this piece right here. Uh, sounds complicated, but really it's very simple. All you got to do is drink lots of strong coffee and wake yourself up. Now this piece here goes with this piece here. The shaft and rudder that goes with that boat is number three. I already looked it up. I want to take that one off carefully. Maybe where's my other nippers? Okay, we'll use these ones here because they can be a little bit more delicate. should uh, put that in a tin. Okay, we'll keep these separate here now. Very gently. All right. Now these eight pieces here, one, two, three, four, 
and then there's four more like that and then we've got the rudder and shaft oh my goodness look at all the flashing on that that I got to get off of I think that's the worst I've seen on this uh, on these sprues I'll uh, put on the macro lens and show you what I'm talking about anyway we do have all the pieces here so I'm just gonna go ahead and nip those off okay this is the last of the number twos and uh, one of them was just about ready to fall off. I'm surprised I didn't lose it. I'll zoom in a little bit here and I'll show you the flashing I'm talking about. It's, it's sort of in a bad place. Now this part here on the drawing is supposed to come down and rest on the uh, bottom of the hull there. And that's this little part right here. And you'll notice that these, there's a lot of flashing that has to be very carefully removed because uh, you know I don't want to cut that little it's not really a peg it's more more of a stop and uh, yeah the the other ones didn't have that problem you know as far as removing a you know a piece of, of uh, sprue like this off of the bottom of the rudder there uh, well, there wouldn't be a, too much of a problem. You just have to be careful not to nip off the peg. You can see where the peg stops and the sprue starts. Well, you don't wanna, now here, here, this one here is the one that was almost falling off. And uh, I didn't cut that off. It's, uh, it, it just, it just broke off already. Anyway, you can see where they have to be very carefully cut. But, uh, yeah, there's quite a bit of flashing there, especially on this one here. Well, I guess looking at them isn't going to get it done, is it? I was going to go to the hobby store this afternoon, and I was going to pick up some paint. The reason being is Andy suggested that maybe XF64 and XF68 might be a good color for the tops of these boats. And uh, also I was going to get some of that uh, crystal clear. Remember, oh, it must be two, three weeks ago when we were doing the canopies on the, on the little airplanes? Somebody had suggested this as, uh, you know, to make the uh, canopy look like it had real glass. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, I might give it a try. And um, the other thing was it looks like they've got the glue applicator now for, um, you know, putting a precision amount of glue uh, onto uh, something instead of my needle it might work and uh, you recall that they were going to have it in uh, shortly well I guess they do it says in stock so uh, yeah uh, now the other thing is I'm noticing that the weather is supposed to improve um, possible showers today so why go out today if uh, you know Friday Saturday Sunday it's going to be beautiful I'll bet you all the snow will be gone by the weekend. I'd much sooner be driving down the road in nice weather than driving down the road when it's all soupy. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to just wait on that. I'm not going to go to the model store this afternoon as planned. Anyway, I'm telling you more than you need to know. Sorry. Now I have a bad habit of if I have a you know a certain aspect of the job to do I'll leave the hardest part for uh, for last but this time I think I'm going to do the hardest part first Now this is the second one I've tried the uh, the other one what I tried to do was I took the, tried to take the flashing off by uh, using the Tamiya nipper and it kind of worked but I just couldn't get in really close and I think that this will work better I 
I'll put the macro lens on afterwards and we'll we'll see. It's a little bit of little flashing a little bit of flashing right in here. I'm just almost you know just pulling it out more than cutting it off. Okay. I think that'll be alright. There's just two more to go like that. In the meantime, it's uh, getting on here today. So uh, thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll take a close look and see how good I did here.